How to change your Wi-Fi channel on your TP-Link Archer C7 version 4. I know this is version 4 because in the box on the little serial number tag, it says version 4 right there. Also on the bottom of the router, there's a, there's a sticker and it also says version 4 right there. Go ahead and find a device to connect to the router. I'm going to use this laptop. You can also use a computer or a smartphone or a tablet or any device that you prefer to connect to your router. You can either connect to the router via Wi-Fi or you can plug into a LAN port in the back. Wireless or wired connection, either one will work for this. Once you're connected to the router, open up your favorite browser. You have two options at this point. You can either type in the IP address of the router, which the default one is 192.168.0.1. Or you can go to tplinkwifi.net. Now make sure you're connected to the router first, either a wired or a wireless connection. Make sure you're connected or else this won't work properly. It's going to ask you to log in. There's no default password for this for me to give to you. This is a password that is set when the router is first set up. So if you don't remember the password, you can either click on forgot password there. Or you can reset the router to default factory settings. And then when you log in for the first time, it'll make you set this password to whatever you want. Once you're logged in, up on the top, you have three options. Quick setup, basic, and advanced. You go to advanced. And once that page loads, on the left side, you go to wireless. And then when that drop down menu comes down, you go to wireless settings. And now on this page, you'll see... Up top where it says wireless settings, if you go to the right, there's two options, one for 2.4 gigahertz and one for 5 gigahertz. You can, you can click on either one of those to switch between the two bands, the two radios. And then on these pages, you'll see near the bottom, the second, op the second to the last option says channel. You can drop down that box and it'll let you choose the channel. So that one is for the 5 gigahertz. Now if you go over here and you select 2.4 gigahertz next to this question mark up here, it's going to let you change the channel. Same thing. Same drop down box in the same place. You can go ahead and select the channel for that one. Then of course when you're done, you can hit the save button to apply your changes. Thanks for watching. If that helped you out, please give me a like.